Well, of course it's windy as hell. <laughs> Why would it be any different once I decide to film? And for the record, I don't actually know if there is a hell. I don't know if it is windy. Anyway, I'm sure I'll find out one day. I thought I'd make this little episode today to mention that the other day, my friend Gary, who you've seen on my videos before, gave me a hand, big hand, to help me cut down some of these trees. Or trim them anyway. They've been quite substantially trimmed. Uh, as usual, didn't film any of it. I'll talk about that another day, but there are many things I don't film simply because it's become some major, major project. Anyway, little Popeye, his dog, was very helpful in gathering some of the sticks. <laughs> it was pretty cool. And it's made quite a difference. May not look it to you, but it's quite different. The thing about Gary, he's one of the very few friends that I have that not only help, but would even ever think to offer to help. And I'm the sort of person that, uh, see, trim that one a bit too. I've never ever asked for help from people. Just don't like doing it. That's just me. That's why I've always been. So anyway, a few things to do today. I thought I'd take you with me. And uh, see how we go. Time to get into the car, I suppose. Would be helpful. Okay. Alright. Different car today. This is... Let's see if I'm following. <coughs> Excuse me. This is probably my favourite car ever, my Ford Fairmont gear. You've um, seen it before in videos. And uh, yes, so I, I am wearing the same t-shirt today again. There's a reason for that though, and that's basically that um, I, I like to save the planet. No, not really. Well, I do, but that's not the reason. It's been warm enough still in Brisbane, Australia that I, aside from when I'm out for 10 minutes, I've been getting around without a t-shirt, which I do in summer and the hotter seasons, but it's starting to get cool enough where I don't need to do that. So uh, yeah, this one will go in the wash tonight and we'll get a new t-shirt. Anyway, let's hit the road. That's a funny place to put a camera. <coughs> well, I just arrived at my first stop, which is my chiropractor, who I've been seeing for... Oh, quite a few years now. I actually made a video about that once. Um, funny how many people don't realise if you click the show more thing below the video you can see all these links I had so I'll add a link to that and some of the other things but um, yeah first up chiropractor uh, I won't show you inside for privacy reasons but then we'll go somewhere else but before that I'll stop for lunch. This is all I'm going to show you in here adjustment table 
I got moved and this latest machine is worth about 80 grand. So I don't think I'll get one for him. Well, I survived that. Uh, now I'm off to get the bite to eat. It's just down the road, but um, yeah, I can't show you because I don't have a GoPro. But I'm sure you know what it's like to drive in a car. Here we are, uh, KFC, I usually go here after my chiropractor every fortnight, but um, tell you what, this might be the last time because I'll show you, but the size of the chicken is ridiculously small, I probably won't talk in there because a lot of people, but I was going to go to Subway, so we'll see how this one turns out. I did a vlog at Subway as well years ago, which you probably haven't seen. So remember to check down in the show more section and I will show you more because it's a good chance you haven't seen any of these. Well, you might not have. Anyway, let's go and see what it's like today. Very nice around here. Bring back growth hormones. Well, <laughs> different place. Thought I'd park under, underneath. So I'm just going to um, go to the ophthalmologist that I see twice a year. Uh, just routine. I was here a month ago. This is just the results that I already was told by the other guy. Anyway, this is where we're at. Surprisingly, I was able to make it here without being late, which I thought I might do, but took a shortcut. You've also even seen me here before. <laughs> Is there nothing I don't vlog about? That's back down the lift we go. Yes, yeah, all clear. Um, actually, it's only once a year I come here. The view. Oops. Left here. Yes, it is. Let's go into the left. Where did I park? Let's try zero. Zero is always a good number. <laughs> I will show you. Um, yeah, in Queensland recently, where I live, they have increased the fines dramatically for uh, driving using your phone, which I actually agree with. I don't agree with many laws, but um, I don't disagree with that one because it is extremely dangerous. And uh, I don't have a GoPro, as I said, which, which back before they brought this law in, or so stringent um, made it somewhat difficult when I drove out my longest ever vlog to see my friend just over a year ago what I did is sticky tape this phone to the or cello tape whatever you call it to the windscreen for some of those shots so it was challenging but I will now show you if you're making a vlog how I'm going to attempt to get out of this car park so through the magic of television, or in this case, Steve Make Ingenuity, I'm going to try this wallet jammed behind this phone, which I will now attempt to stand here on the dash and try and wedge it in between. That didn't work. The trials and tribulations. That might work for the shot. Let's try. And then we'll go home for much needed coffee do some more editing I guess well it works funny how tyres always do that on concrete anyway so that's it 
Uh, no more running around today. I'll just have to pick up something just near home. You know what? It's warming up today. It's I can't see the temperature on the dash here. Something warm, but not as warm as it uh, has been recently. So this is sort of how I make vlogs. I guess I'll uh, be open to any questions as always. I've got a playlist about this. In fact, I made a video years ago. Very comprehensive series about how to make vlogs, but had very few views. So I'll also link it below. Okay, well, that's a demo of how to do that. And let's go. And the phone back off we'll put it away you're not even allowed to touch it and i will see you at home here we go and just like that we're home i thought is it worth setting up the proper camera just for this no nah. um yeah so going to take my hair out now the wind's still about and have this coffee and go and edit another episode of something that I'm working on. Just so you know, because you never see it this way. This is actually where I sit, because clearly when I show you that sort of view on my videos, the camera's facing that way. I don't normally sit over there. I normally sit here so I can see the view. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense to me. And I've already fed the magpies, but no doubt they'll be around again soon. Hold that thought. Huh. Okay, come on. Of course, it's not the magpies, but come on then. Come on, you'll be in the daily vlog. Here. Come on. Here. <laughs> uh, check out my video of the, these fellas from the other day. His, his wife is over there too. Oops, wrong button. Take two, his wife's over there too. <laughs> okay. Well, now can I continue and wind up this daily vlog shortly thank you carol for making an appearance i told you that would happen yeah bumpy mm, a little boy eh? yeah i knew it you gotta be quick carol you're just too slow honey yeah, too slow <laughs> oh we're on the crackers now <laughs> yeah dad <boy. laughs> okay yeah Okay, Bumpy, you've been on enough, hey? Eh? You've all been on far too many videos. Yes, you can't just enter my daily vlogs, can you? No, all right, later. I don't know if you can tell, but they're only two feet apart. So they don't, they're not necessarily enemies or anything. Anyway. Of course it's Bad timing, but uh, one of Bobo's friends has come to visit him and check out his brand new stainless steel dishes that you saw on my little short video. Take 60. By the time you saw me, by the time I grabbed the camera rather, it moved over to the side, but it was actually eating out of Bobo's dish there on the other side. It's quite cute, you'll have to use your imagination. <laughs> They're all very impressed with these shiny stainless steel dishes. Bobo's quite happy about it. Now he's back on that side. I'm just filming through the screen on the window so that's why it's a bit hazy. I don't know if I open the door, it'll take off. <laughs> anyway, still pretty cool. Bobo is a very popular bird. Time for a nice hot bath. Time for a long hot soak in the tub after a hard day's vlogging. And no, you don't get to see this bit. Oh, that's better. Note the grey shirt too. Not the same one I had on. Okay, all clean. 
just need a shave. Well, thanks to all of you, and the few of you that actually watch this whole thing. Most of, especially my daily vlogs, if you want to call them that, won't be anywhere near this long. But anyway, I'll just chill out now and uh, probably watch some YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's taken me a while to edit all that. Okay, well, don't forget to also subscribe to my new revamped channel, Steve Mac Clips and Bits, because you may as well. All right, see you all tomorrow. Cheers.